Well, I've said many times that I'll never be surprised by anything he does, but uh, he may have achieved it this time. I mean, this is just beyond anything uh, I, I could consider that he would do. I, he, I know he's wicked, I know he's cruel, but uh, to toy with the families in this way, and with the Dowlers in particular, it, it's just beyond belief. Now, the timing of this complaint is uh, intriguing, isn't it? Because we've had Surrey Police reveal details of this confession a couple of weeks ago, and yet this mm. week we had Millie Dowler's parents uh, revealing the horrifying details of what apparently happened to their daughter. Why do this now? Well, I don't know. I, you know, he... he he, he has always tried to, uh, to minimise anything that, that's gone on and whether he hoped that the details of what he did uh, were, were going to be kept under wraps and it was when they came out that he's felt he's had to deny them, I don't know. It could be the whole thing is just a, a sham and a charade, uh, you know, another cruelty that he wants to lay upon, upon the, uh, the, the, the Dowler family. It, it, it's despicable. Yeah, I mean, you said you were surprised uh, that he actually confessed in the first place after all these years. Yes, I was. I was very surprised because um, he, he's never uh, admitted anything to, uh, to anybody, or certainly not to anybody in authority, although he, 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 he certainly boasted about his exploits in the past. Um, we, we, we just need to see now what's happening. I think it's interesting, the, uh, the letter is, as you might expect, carefully worded and, and, and doesn't actually say he didn't do it. He's not, he's, he's denying the fact that he made a confession. Um, and, and I think we, we must all hope that there is some unassailable record of him, in fact, making that confession and, and we'll see this for what it is, which is just another attempt at twisting things and, and, and cruelty on the family. Indeed. Well, I mean, what can he hope to achieve by this? He has been convicted and put away because a jury believed beyond reasonable doubt that he had committed this awful mm. crime. Uh, so what's to be gained by this from mm. Mr Belfield? I, I, I think he has nothing else to do, possibly. You know, I mean, he, he is in prison forever and that's the right place for him and, and we must all hope that that's where he stays forever. Uh, he likes making trouble, he likes being the centre of attention and he certainly likes uh, being cruel to the families of his victims. We saw that during uh, the first trial, the, 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 the Metropolitan trial, and then through the, uh, the, the Dowler trial. He was, um, you know, cruel and abusive to victims' families even while he was in court, of course, out of sight of the jury and the judge. Um, he just gets a kick out of doing things like this, I think. Uh, you, you've, as I said, you'd met, you've interviewed him several times. What was your experience of the man? Oh, he's just the most self-centred, egotistical, manipulative person I've ever met. Uh, completely cold, completely self-centred, doesn't ever do anything unless there's something in it for him. And uh, he, he, he just, you know, he's, he's got the coldest eyes, darkest, coldest eyes that just show no emotion. I, I stood across a table and formally charged him with, with two murders and attempted murder and there was not a flicker in him. He, he's a, a very cold uh, psychopath, I suppose. Colin Sutton, thank you for joining us.